So in this episode, I just kind of want to jump right into it. We're talking about scoffers today. Uh, in particularly, I mean Hollywood, right? So Hollywood has been doing a lot of subtle and not so subtle mockery and self-righteous judgment against God. And there's a point where as a Christian, you want to have a lens to see the secular world for what it is, right? And in this context, I'm talking about how Hollywood takes this position of self-righteous indignation, anger, and contempt against God. It's definitely infected the culture for sure. And the irony about it, right, is that we're talking about an industry that lacks in good moral character, first of all, and secondly, portraying self-righteous indignation tends to happen in a show that in and of itself is morally questionable. For example, this one episode that I have a little clip from as an illustration is from a show on Hulu called Shut Eye, where we're talking about the principal characters are basically con artists. Uh, they're you know, they're part of the the, the the gypsy mob where they basically run scams to scam people for money in the form of fortune tellers and that kind of stuff. And so I'll let you watch the clip. I go to heaven if that's where I'm going. I'm going to hold him up to God and I'm going to ask for an explanation. He was old. If I, if I do that, if I blinded a dog and I shattered his hip so he could barely move, so he could barely move out of his own filth, that would make me a psychopath, right? No. No, it would, right? I mean, it, it would. God does that over and over and over again, day in, day out, every single day of the week and twice on Sunday. You're a doctor, for Christ's sake. See. So, right, this is that self-righteous nation I'm talking about, right? That character basically feels like God is immoral. I mean, who are they to claim a higher position of morality than God, right? God is the absolute standard of morality. If you believe in God, like that's where we base our morality from. God is the objective standard. And it, while people can have morality and not necessarily have a worldview with God in it, it will always be subjective morality. And that is kind of the competing worldview right now is too many people want to be their own God, their own masters. They decide what's right and wrong. I mean, we're seeing that in the world in modern culture right now. It's a lot of divisiveness taking place between people that think they're right on either side of the West. And Hollywood just does this in so many shows. I mean, I could have given you countless examples, but here's kind of another one right here. This next one is from a show called The Boys, which again, it's, it's morally bankrupt. It's about these quote unquote superheroes that seem good on the surface to the public eye, but it's all marketing smoke and mirror because they're really quite evil. And it, it's this whole making evil good and good evil nonsense. So here's this clip. Same. If there is some geezer up there with a big white beard, he's a world heavy. I, I'm sorry, did you just call God a C word? Yeah, he's got a hard on for mass murder and giving kids cancer. And his big old answer to the existential plus of humanity is to nail his own bleeding son to a plane. That is a move. Come on, even you've got to agree hey, with hey, hey. So that one was a little compounded because not only did he call God the C word, but <laughs> also, right, cast contempt at. God sending his only son to be the sacrifice for the world, to pay for our sins, right? So again, this is that self-righteous indignation that I'm talking about. And who are they to claim they are morally upright and God is not? It, it, it's a joke. And so when they're not just behaving in this morally self-righteous position, then you get 
kind of the reverse of that, which is ridicule and mockery, which kind of leads me to this next one. A movie called Rapture Palooza, which is all about poking fun at the end of the world. But of course, right, they can't help and just take a, a, a pot shot at, at, at God. So I'll let you check out the clip. What is that? It's coming right at us. Ben, wait! You barbecued my son. I panicked. I laser beamed him. I beamed Jesus. I'm so sorry. Right, so if they're not trying to claim God is immoral, then it's easy to just kind of poke fun of God and make him look like a weakling or a joke, right? And so that's kind of what's the state of the, how God and Christianity is represented in Hollywood in, in the secular world. It's, it's pretty disgusting actually, and highly offensive if you're a Christian. So I, I encourage you to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Watch the secular shows with a very different lens and you will find that you lose your salt for it. You lose your taste for it, my brothers and sisters. Uh, a couple slides here, just with respect to another show. I'm, I'm not going to show a clip because I kind of want to do a separate episode about it later. But the last one here, just real brief, is another show where Hollywood basically is representing evil for good and good for evil. It's a place called The Good Place, which literally is replacing evil with good. Like the evil people are the one that decide what's going to be good. And if you never saw it, well, that was a spoiler alert, but I just wanted to wrap that up by showing how things are backwards in today's world. It's happening in our society. It's definitely happening in media and television and movies and film where evil is being portrayed as good and good is being cast as evil. It's not right and we can't be silent about it. We need to say something about it. So I, I encourage you to look at the world through the Christian lens and you, you'll really start seeing just how offended you will be at people thinking they can just make fun of God. But God will not be mocked. At the end of the day, God is victorious. And remember to share the gospel of the good news, brothers and sisters. God bless you.